Google announces an Android device manager to help you recover your lost phone. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 gets leaked in some odd photos. And BlackBerry seems to think that you want a Porsche design on their next flagship. I'm Jaime Rivera, and about the only thing that I'm interested on with a Porsche design is my car for the weekend. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some late product announcements as Google has finally announced their Android Device Manager. You know, an application you can use to track your phone if it gets lost or stolen. It also works on tablets from Froyo on. Just makes you wonder what took Google so long. I mean, Apple's been doing this with Find My iPhone for the longest time. Windows Phone as well, and even some third-party applications for Android as well they have to pay for in some cases. And anyways, it's great that it's finally here. Sadly, you'll have to wait a couple of weeks to get it. Now let's talk about BlackBerry as well. Some recent leaks show us a BlackBerry Z30, and as it turns out, it seems that this new phablet is apparently gonna be their next flagship for some time in the holiday season, hopefully, though uh, we can't understand what's the difference between that and the Z10 aside from the size of it. And then aside from that, apparently there are some leaked photographs of a BlackBerry Z10 Porsche design. It's gonna have a different number, obviously, but it's the Z10 and just about everything except the chassis, uh, so just wait for it. I mean, Porsche design they're gonna to want to charge you a lot of money and nobody's gonna buy it and for all seven of you that were excited yesterday about the Moto X well some new rumors have it that the company is working on bringing a Google edition of this phone which I can't understand since uh, Google owns Motorola so isn't this a Google edition I mean this looks pretty much like stock Android except for the added features of the wake up the phone with the OK Google now command which imagine that I mean you'll pay 600 and something dollars for a Google phone Google edition and then you're gonna be losing all those features. Anyways, now let's talk about Apple as the new thing in the rumors is that the next iPhone is getting fingerprint scanning for some reason we can't really understand and as it turns out even though the rumors have it that it's coming in the home button, the leaked parts that we just got today don't include any fingerprint scanner anywhere, it's just a typical home button. But we all know that Apple has filed for this patent where the display, the full display is a fingerprint scanner and the question is if that's what we're getting and I still ask myself why. And finally, for the hot and odd news of the day, we've got some leaked photographs of the Galaxy Note 3, and they are kind of odd because this device has squared edges, and we were expecting a Galaxy S4 with a much bigger size and an S Pen, and that's what we were expecting to be the Galaxy Note 3, and we're kind of trying to understand if this is a prototype or if this is really the phone that's coming. Squared edges on such a big phone, probably not the best combination, but IFA in Berlin is coming in just one month, so stay tuned. That is when the Galaxy Note 3 will get launched. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Are you waiting for the Galaxy Note 3? Is that a phone that you want in the future? In my particular case, the Galaxy Note 2 is one of my favorite phones of all time, so obviously I am waiting for it, but leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.